we have on the one hand like kind of the individual explorer uh, paradigm where you have yeah very you know whether it's in meditation or psychedelic research you have like individual researchers who have gone very deep and you know they write books they they give lectures and they end up usually having a particular type of uh, metaphysics that they communicate that's uh, very valuable but then it has like the side effect that um, you don't necessarily have critical feedback from epistemic peers and <laughs> you're kind of like liable to yeah getting lost in your own world in in a way uh, and then the other very common paradigm is kind of the the standard uh, academic uh, approach to consciousness research which is something along the lines of hey we select you know 50 people from the general population who have never tried psychedelics and we give them you know their first mushroom experience in an fmri <laughs> uh, and ask them to fill out a questionnaire and and the problem with that is that you know these are not really like experts on the subject and then the researchers themselves don't actually have like a you know direct experience of what they're like investigating whereas uh, we have like a yeah, much more sophisticated kind of in-depth analysis of yeah the the, the state space of uh geometric effects of psychedelics um and so to contrast you know the individual explorer and the academic approach we have this uh, other paradigm we call the other yeah, think tank uh kind of um 